Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining another session here at uh, our weekly meetup for the Small Business Weekly Tech Talks. We are basically gathering together as small business owners to help each other in various different topics to learn and understand what we do in our businesses that we can take away into other businesses and improve those, uh, those things that we do on a weekly basis. So we'll talk about uh, technology topics and website tools and marketing tools that we all use and help each other basically learn those things. And today we have a special guest, Heath uh, Cheka. If I'm not mispronouncing that, um, well, Heath will uh, Heath will tell us about uh, one of his um, uh, fond uh, topics that he likes to talk a lot about and has a lot of experiences in, which is sales funnels. And uh, I'm very excited to to learn about it as well myself. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so so do you have anything that you want to share before you get started, Heath? No, I think. Uh... As long as I can share my screen, I'll jump right into it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so uh, every, everyone here knows that this is re being recorded and it'll be available on the website, on my website later. Uh, I am changing some of the things that I do in this talk and it'll it'll change, the, the format will change over time uh, into something else, which um, you'll, you'll hear about uh, soon, but I'm very excited for that as well. But um, we'll, we'll kind of keep on this sort of... Um, uh, this going once in a while to still check in and make sure we can help each other. So, uh, so yeah, so if you can share your screen, Heath, uh, then we can get started on your you need to chat make me today. A post. That is a good point. I thought I already did that, which I clearly did not. Let me do that. Heath, make host. There you go. Uh, Screen two, 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 here. All right, can you see that? Yes, we can. Okay, so actually today we're going to talk about this, the lead funnel. Um, so I help businesses build lead funnels and sales funnels, but I'm not talking about lead funnels today. Um, so I'm just going to go over the different parts of this. So first off, we talk about different ways to strategize to get traffic into your funnel. So we use different strategies like the Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, AdWords, which is Google searches, and then Facebook ads or uh, YouTube ads, sorry, um, to get a message or a banner in front of multiple different uh, areas of um, people who are looking up how-to videos and so forth or any kind of influencer. Um, once we get that traffic, we'll send them to an opt-in page. We're an opt-in page, we're giving them some kind of value, either some kind of report or an ebook or a mini video series. And this is giving them value and, and help them understand our service or product that we're wanting the customer get interested. Most likely in a lead funnel, we're gonna be doing some kind of service. Um, once we have people opting in to become a lead, so we have them in our lead system and we go ahead and we'll deliver whatever we promised at this page. So like in this case, a PDF report, they go ahead and download the PDF report. And then they also get automatically logged into an email sequence here that gets that follows up with them um, after the first day. But once they opt in, what the client sees is that they opt in and they go to the sales page and the sales page is like your service. So like if we're, if this was for Mo and it was, he was selling different, uh, you know, web services, it's going to get more information about that, uh, bring value to the customer. You're going to learn a little something like what the service is about and what it's not about. And then if they're interested, there's a call to action button at the bottom for them to go ahead and make a calendar invite and talk, you know, make an appointment with Mo. Um, when, once that happens, they'll get sent to a thank you page. And then, you know, for example, Mo can follow up and then close the deal. But this is like a whole lead machine that we're getting traffic in from different sources. And there's, there's multiple different sources that we can use I just start with the core four because these usually, you know, connect with most of the business owners, um, but we do, you know, customize this depending on what would be the most effective way. But yeah, the leaf funnel is pretty simplistic. Um, it's just make, giving them value, 
you know, hooking them in, giving them something that they're that way they're going to learn and that they're going to learn about your service, and then um, you know, give them more information about it, and then seeing if they are really interested in. It. You're kind of betting them out at this stage, so you can see, uh, you know, what, what a certain percentage of people going through this. So, for example, we can actually see different forecasting numbers here. So, if we from all these traffic sources, we can get you know 143 people on this page per day. Say 40% of this 143 actually opt in. So we get 57 leads that turn to leads. Now, yes, they we go they, they go ahead and they get what they opted in for, and they get um, 57 of these people will get emails from us, so we'll get automatic follow. -up. Uh, follow up emails and then on the sales page yeah, so 57 will go on to the sales page but only 30 percent will actually move forward and make a calendar invite now once they make a calendar invite you know 100 percent of those are actually get to the thank you page but then once we get them on the phone say we close half of them um, and you can see that this is um, you know eight, eight purchases from these total 57 but what's neat is that this little machine that we have going on down here is follow up. So we if we only convert 40% uh, here, these emails are going to help increase that rate. So if 40% initially come in to our opt in page, when we follow up with them, that's going to go up should go up to 60 to 70% and get them back to our sales page to make a calendar invite. So it, it kind of it, it first First people who go through will go through all the way, people who you know know that they want it, but then there's gonna be tire kickers and that's why we're sending the emails out to get, get more value, get more information, and get them to go um, either to buy our product or go and have a talk with us about the service. And then you can see, I just wanna show you some numbers here, which is kind of cool. You can see the potential of this thing. So say, let's say you have a mid-tier product, you know, 497, um, I want, so if we have, you know, 143 coming in, we convert 40% or coming into the opt-in page. We're converting 30% from the sales page to make a calendar invite. And then on the phone, we actually convert 50%. That means eight sales. So if we're able to do this on a daily basis, if we're able to talk to, well, this is pretty high number, 17 people on a daily basis, you can see that our forecasting numbers of this and we're only spending $100 in traffic, 25 from each source here, um, that we can actually make a pretty good revenue here and then profit um, from this machine. So if you, that's the thing is that this can be, once, you, once these messages in the funnel get dialed in, and then same thing with their ads, if we can hook people in our ads and say me, what we only do, say we're only do, do two sources, um, you know, if we, once we get these messages dialed in and we can see that our, our cost per click can go down, you know, then we just start scaling. We start spending a little more money with these and we're going to try to hit a, a specific cost per click, um, and just try to hit that many people. And then more we can scale this, more people come through, more money we can make with these. So it's pretty neat. Any questions? What is this? Is this an app? Uh, so this is this website is Funnelytics, and this is where this helps you kind of lay it out uh, and kind of give you a forecast of what uh, what the funnel is. So I don't, you know, we don't build the funnels here, but this is just like a layout, a logical view of it. So a uh, couple of clarifying questions, Heath. So, so basically you're helping business owners build these models of what you could do. And then once you do that, are you helping them create these things as yeah. well? So for example, the, the, like, would you help them create a lead magnet or stuff like that? Or what, what process do you help with in here? Yep. So my, the whole process is that I, I had a, is, well, first off, the discovery call to kind of get, learn about their business. And if they're, I show them this, and if they're interested in moving forward, they go through with a business intensive where we strategize all the different parts, the traffic, what the funnel looks like, mm -hmm. if 
Um, and then the, also the email follow-up sequence. Um, um, once they go through the business intensive, then we go ahead, you know, give them a proposal, they move forward, we start building this out. Um, they, you know, they pay for the service of building all the stuff out and then they also have to have an ad spend budget to start the ad spend. But yeah, once it's that first 90 days, we're tuning everything, tweaking everything, making it, making it convert to the percentage that we want to forecast, you know, those percentage like the opt-in rate, we want to get up to 40 to 60%, you know, hit at least 30% in sales page and so forth. So, are those sales calendar and thank you pages and those other things, are they being built in the platform that you work with? Or is that something, for example, I have a website and I would, I would create those myself. Nope. So these were, I, I create with the client and this is all within ClickFunnels. So okay. I'll create the opt-in page, sales page, calendar page, and, and thank you page. In there. And ClickFunnels as, as being the, the tool that you're using, correct? Correct. Okay. Gotcha. So, um, one of the things that I noticed was the the CPC rate was very low. Uh, it was like half um, half a dollar or something like that. And as as you're you're already aware of um, the e Google Ad um, CPC rate now is pretty high. So in a lot of cases, a, a regular click will cost you two dollars, if not six dollars. Or in some cases, I was working with a client yeah. and. I was looking at some of their numbers and some people are spending like $60 per click, which is obviously insane, but there's a big, a lot of competition for the, uh, the CPC rate. Um, uh, so and it just depends what industry you're in. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's it's just like, if you get targeted in, you can get it down that much, but yeah, it takes, obviously uh, it all depends on what industry, mm -hmm. what, how much competition, you know, that's all research ahead of time. Okay. And so, so let's say that we wanted to work together. What would be like the first step in, in this process? Obviously you'd create the lead funnel and, you know, create something that would work for my business, for example, um, going to, let's say the, the, the next step, would it be like creating some of the ads or do you manage that? Or would I get someone to hire, like oh, doing so the ads? I, me and my team would, would manage the ads. Okay. You know, so first off, that business intensive strategize what exactly ads we want to use, what the what exactly kind of funnel we want, and what we want on it. Okay. Um, now, I'll, obviously, I'm not going to have you guys, you know, do the creative or the copy of it. We're just like, what do you want on this page? Like, what is your lead magnet for here? We'll strategize about that. Um, you know, what kind of information, the value points that we can put on the sales page about product or service um, and then you know we'll connect these into your calendar and then the thank you page is just you know tell them thank you or also for if we're doing a second funnel we can lead them into a second funnel as well in your experience does this work well with uh, services like mine where it's a very high value service and very few people buy it versus something like a product, you know, that costs 50 bucks or something that a bunch of people would buy. And it's a very like different kind of sale. What's what sort of your experience on that side? Well, yeah, when it's a service, I mean, that's why you would use some kind of lead funnel where we're getting them. I mean, this can be, you know, instead of doing a, a calendar invite, we can do, um, we can just do an application. You know, I have them fill out an application here. And then we'll tell them what the service, have them fill out applications on the thank you page, and then you kind of just filter through what kind of client you want to work with. And these, you know, these are following up with people. We're retargeting people who haven't gone through with the sales page and so mm -hmm. forth. So there, that's what there's gonna be a variation of things. Okay. So, I mean, this is not a sales funnel. This is for leads. So, are you going to talk about your sales funnel as well? Um, some other day, yeah. Okay, cool. So, so in, so like, for example, I already do a lot of these things uh, in terms of my lead magnet opt-in, the sales page, uh, I do have a calendar. And so what, like using the click funnel tool, it, would that be better in, a, in, in some way? Uh, or what would be sort of the advantage of using something like click funnels 
uh, versus just doing it on my website, for example? Well, I mean, it's just the main thing about a funnel is the strategy behind of how we lay out the content. Okay. And then we're only making them do one thing on each page. Okay. So if you have a website and you have a bunch of other things on there that can, can get them distracted, mm -hmm. it's just not going to be as effective. Got it. Okay. So you're basically honing down on something specific. It's like, hey, this is the only thing you could buy or see or whatever on this page and then kind of move forward with this, on, this thing only, right? Right. This is, okay. this is meant for one thing, one thing mm -hmm. only. Okay. If you wanted to do a separate service or whatnot, we could create a whole separate funnel. Mm -hmm. we, wouldn't, we wouldn't combine anything. Okay. Cool. This is interesting. Do you guys have questions? Yeah. So Heath, uh, I'm just trying to understand this. So do you help a businesses increase the conversion rate? Is that what you're emphasizing on? Yeah, we help. Well, I mean, it's just, it's, it's giving businesses an online way to recruit traffic, get more clients on, on their business. Like a lot of clients that I work with, they just either, you know, they're doing business by referrals, word of mouth, you know, they have a website, but they're just not getting traffic to it. So I introduce them to a funnel, like, Hey, we'll, I'll put this whole strategy together of how to, we'll send traffic to your funnel. And the funnel is a way of converting traffic a lot more efficiently. Yeah. So, so sending traffic is one thing. I mean, uh, you said that you will use, for example, uh, if you were to help me, um, so you'll say that, you know, you'll look into my all social media platforms that I'm using. And then probably you will give me an idea or you give me a strategy in terms of how to increase this traffic. That's one part of what you do. And the second part, what you're trying to tell me is that uh, once you see that there's enough traffic, but then there'll also be a parallel strategy that you will implement to convert uh, the traffic into right. possible leads, right? And that information is been passed through this software that you're using. Correct. Yeah. So like, here we, we set the forecast numbers of what we, you know, would like to hit. And we can also punch in, you know, connect it with your, with the funnel and with the traffic sources to see what are the actual numbers that we're hitting. Mm -hmm. So we can see, you know, how close are we? So basically, the, yeah. So basically this, this, this software is just like a dashboard that helps us to see as to how we yeah, are progressing. It's a and, planning tool. Okay. It's a planning tool basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Planning tool, building out tool. I mean, I, I'll actually build out funnels here right in front of customers too when we're doing the strategy session. So. And where does okay. the content uh, come in? Do you do you test different things and then and then create a new flow for for every new option? How does the creative um, intersect with with the planning? Yeah, so that's part of the strategy. Like, what kind of content we're going to use here? I mean, that's going to depend on you know, what kind of business you have, what kind of thing you do, what can you offer for free? What are going to give, what are some very, you know, some high value information that you can give away for free to get people into this? That's the whole thing is that people, um, like my opt-in is like, why 99% of businesses are going to fail? And people are like, well, why, why would they fail? That's my headline on my opt-in. And then they down an ebook and it talks about how, sales funnels are actually going to help them sell a lot more stuff online um, than any other way. So we, you know, have a good headline. We, for the content, I work with the business owner to make that, um, you know, there's multiple ways we can, they can write it. We can have a copywriter write it, you know, ghostwriter write it, whatever. Have, maybe they're doing a video series, like I said. So, and then the same thing about here where it, there's a lot of questions that I ask to get information from, and then we go ahead and put it in a, a, a way that makes it effective and the way that we want them to move forward. In your world, what would be the difference between this lead magnet or I mean lead funnel versus a sales funnel that you would create, for example? Well, so we're not actually selling anything on the page. We're just making them, on this example, fill out an example mm -hmm. to get them our application where you're following up on the phone and, and making the purchase. Where on a sales funnel, you do the sales page, we'll have an order form, and then, you know, they're, they're, they're actually purchasing on the page. You don't even have to interact with them. 
Okay, so that would be more like, um, I guess, like a, what's it called? Course or something that if I was trying to sell, like, okay, this is the course that you buy and you just purchase it right away or even a product could be like a sales funnel. Is, is, is that right? Right. Okay, cool. All right, interesting. So, but, so uh, the other thing is, see, but when you say that um, you develop strategies, do you go through the entire marketing or sales funnel, like, you know, you build awareness and then probably you uh, create that interest and then uh, help a business consider your products or services. And do you go through that entire uh, funnel to ensure that, you know, it is, it's the, the overall process is much more stronger and much more effective to convert those clients? Well, so what, the first thing that we do is for whatever, let's say we're, I'm, I work with like a client who's doing HVAC heating and cooling services. Um, first, I do my research and see if there's any, you know, funnels out there that are working. I do my research and we'll see how they set up and we'll, we'll either model that mm -hmm. and that way we know that there's effective model. And I, there's in the service industry, there's a lot of similar funnels and they're very, I mean, they're not complicated. You don't really have to sell them on stuff. You just got to have the right copy on there and what kind of services you're going to, you want to offer. Um, but that the first step is just going ahead and doing some research and seeing what other funnels are out there and then we either model that um, or we figure out what kind of type model we want to use or what kind of funnel we want to use. And I have multiple, uh, you know, funnels that I know that are effective, you know, layouts and we use the layout and then we basically put your information in there and then, you know, we'll tweak the copy, we'll test the funnel, see what, what's converting, what kind of numbers we're getting. And if like our, maybe our lead may is not converting where we want to. Well, how can we change it? How can we make it better? We'll tweak it, tweak the headline, tweak what, any kind of copy in there and just try to increase the rates. Same thing with all the other pages. So it's, okay. it's a test to so put it out there, test game and makes tweaks on it. And it's increased the, you know, the effectiveness of it. Okay. And on, a, on based on your experience on an average, how many connects are required to convert a client, to convert a prospect into a, a client? How many connects? Like prospects? Yeah. How many connects? I mean, how many times do you have to go and follow up with that? Every industry, is, I can't really okay. remember. I mean, it, it depends on how the industry. It depends on how much you're wanting to, um, you know, spend on ads. Spend on, yeah. I mean, it. Our, maybe we hit the ad, we crack the ad, you know, right away, and we can get a ton of traffic. It just depends. That's why we say like 90 days it takes to get this in. Now we should be able to have a good, you know, make it effective within. You know, that's why we say 90 days for sure, but a month and a half, we'll, we should get this pretty dialed in that you'll be getting at least average results. Mm -hmm. Average results, I mean, you'll be getting, you know, I'd say five to 10 clients or applications or each, each week. So if not each day, it just depends. There's so many different factors. I can't give you a solid number. Okay. Each industry has its own baseline because there's so many, <laughs> You know, chiropractors, a lot more chiropractors, people are looking for that. So they're going to be some more of a needed service. Mm -hmm. It just depends. Okay. And does, I mean, I mean, there's, I mean, I'm not still invested in Google ads or Facebook ads for that matter, but because I'm not sure whether that would be a right investment uh, in the first place. And uh, probably I don't have an idea in terms of how to effectively use those ads. So is it how much and uh, how much you need to invest um, is, is the kind of questions that I'm having uh, to, 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 you know, before using the Google ads or any Facebook ads such, uh, for that matter. I'm sorry. I didn't understand the question. I couldn't hear you in the first part. Yeah. I mean, see, how much do you, I mean, how much do you need to invest in a, a Google ads or Facebook oh. ads to initially to start off? So I'd say per platform, I would start out with 500 per plat per platform for the first month for testing, and then once you test, you get it dialed in that first month, and then you can start scaling and add more into it. 
the whole goal is to be, you know, to break even within 90 days. Once you break even, I mean, it depends on how much your your services, like if your services is a lot less and, you know, it's going to take a little more time to break even and then after you break even, then your profit after that. See, it, it just, it's not, people think that it's instant results. It takes time, we'll break even and then at, from that point on, we'll have it all dialed in and you're all profit. But then, but you got a you got a machine that's just working for you automatically. You can stop the ads, you can pause the ads whenever you want if you get overloaded. And that's the biggest thing that we have with clients is that these actually they don't have the infrastructure in house, or if they're selling a product, they're not you know the manufacturing process is slow, and they're not able to fulfill. You know these can there's there's a company called Redline Redline Steel where they had a, their fun up selling their product and they make uh, like steel, you know, love uh, kind of shape and whatnot. And they sell these, but they, their manufacturing process wasn't able to keep up with the funnel. They sold too many things to the funnel, they couldn't fill it. So you gotta, um, it can be too effective if you can, you know, if you, if this is for applications. Now, obviously for applications, you don't have to be on the phone or anything. You're just gonna get a stack of applications. You have to go through them and then follow up with it. But if you keep, if you're you're getting, you know, five to ten applications a day, means you got to keep going through those. You know, and I mean, it's just it's you got to have a, a infrastructure in house as well to, to handle for this. So this this process, if you're a new startup, it's not for you. It's for experienced businesses that are ready to take their business to the next level. So you do need I mean, some capital to make. Right. So. so if I understand you correctly, Heath, so you would basically help a business go through this whole strategy on what they should do and what makes sense for them. And then you would take their Facebook ads budget and Google ads budget, et cetera, et cetera, create an ad, or I guess your team would create an ad. And then you would also create the lead magnet, um, opt-in page and sales page, et cetera, et cetera. So that way, like everything is basically done for the business owner and you're coming in to basically checking in this dashboard to see how things are going every once in a while, correct? Right. Okay. So one of the things that um, I, I would have questions on being uh, coming from a web uh, web background is obviously if you're creating these separate pages outside of your own website, let's say on my, like away from my own website, that affects the SEO and it wouldn't be great for my web, uh, page specifically. Is there something that you're doing in terms of SEO that could, that could help my business as well? Or is, do, you, do you guys have any strategy on whether to put it in my own website or stuff like that? Well, I mean, a lot of people, they'll either put a subdomain in their website mm -hmm. and, or just create a different domain for it. Okay. So. Interesting. And so basically this tool has to create this in this specific format. Like I can't say like, okay, I'm just going to use my own website to do these things. Correct. I mean, you can come through and get the strategy from me and you can build it yourself. So like that's why we charge for that whole strategy session. Uh huh. We'll lay it all out for you and you can either take it to for yourself, execute it. You can, you know, have us execute it or you mm -hmm. want to go somewhere else you can. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, cool. Right. So then you basically help with figuring out how I'm doing it or checking in, I yeah. guess, once in a while. All right. Awesome. Well, I did, yeah. I mean, if you work with us, we're going to we'll, we'll work, we'll work with you. But if you're mm -hmm. go to that strategy and you go do it yourself, then we're out of the picture at that point. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. And what industries do you, in your experience, do you feel like wor uh, works best for this type of... Um... Any industry, man. I mean, it literally can work for any industry. Mm -hmm. So okay. about just getting... It's, it's about making sure you have the right hook to hook them in for the ads. Tell them, you're basically telling the story to build rapport within the funnel so you can build that know, like, and trust. People who do business with people who they know, like, and trust. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing throughout the whole funnel. Sure. And you're converting them at the end. Okay. Cool. That's awesome. Well, I, we're just a little bit over time. Does anyone have any questions to wrap up? Thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. Thank you very much, Heath, for teaching us about your lead funnel strategy. That was very interesting. 
And next week we'll check, uh, chat about something different. And then uh, the following week we have the conversation on niching down, how to kind of uh, consolidate your ideal clients. Uh, that will be by Kelsey. So looking forward to the next couple of chats and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Get some rest. You too. Thanks guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.